Education and Learning. In Australia, there are many different education opportunities for both children and adults. Education will probably be one of your first priorities, so it is important that you get to know the opportunities and options available to you. For example, you might be able to access part-time study or evening classes if you have work or family commitments during the day. In Australia, education will be different depending on where you live, and it will probably be different from what you are used to. It might take some time for you to understand the system. Learning English Learning English will often be your first step towards settling in Australia. English language skills are very important. They can help you find a job and settle in the community. In Australia, English classes are free and they are a great way to meet new people. There are lots of people at all levels, so you don't need to feel embarrassed if you don't speak English well. Peter Macmillan is an English language teacher. My advice would be to make the most of your English classes because life can be much more difficult if you don't speak the language in Australia. Learning English helps you to find a better job. It helps to make your life easier every day. There are many students who go to work part-time or even full-time and they come to study in the evenings. Just because you have a job, it doesn't mean that you have to stop studying. You should enrol in English classes as soon as possible. Ask your caseworker to help you find English language classes for yourselves and your children. Agok and Adit have both had to learn English when they got to Australia. It is important to study English in Australia so that you can get familiar with other people. Yeah, maybe if you are looking for a job, you will not get it if you don't know English. So English is really important for those things. Talk to each other about your lessons and try to help each other. Going to school. In Australia, all children are expected to attend school. Schools offer safe and secure environments. Before starting school, most four to five year olds go to preschool. Preschools help children develop physically, emotionally and socially in the year before school. Generally, primary school is for children between the ages of six and 12 years. High school is for children aged between about 13 and 18. Children will be expected to attend classes from the morning until mid-afternoon. You should make sure that they eat a healthy breakfast and pack a healthy lunch. And you should notify the school if they are sick. You will also have to pay some school fees and you might have to pay for some school uniforms, books and excursions. Children are placed in classes according to their age, not by how much schooling they have had. Some of your children will be behind in the Australian school system, others might be ahead. You need to be patient with your children and with the system. Your children might need to take extra efforts outside school time in order to catch up. In Australian schools, students learn how to socialize with people their own age. They learn how to work in a team, complete projects and recognize the strengths of different people. Schools also encourage independent thinking, sharing opinions and open discussions. High schools might also teach your children about sex education to inform them about some potential dangers such as unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. 
Diane Fuller is a primary school teacher. We always talk about values, about respect, about responsibility, about valuing friendship. In school, children need to be well behaved. They are not allowed to hurt other children. This is known as bullying. Bullying is something we don't accept. It's very important if someone is being bullied that they come and talk to someone that can help them. In Australia, parents are often involved in their children's school. If you have children at school, consider joining the Parent-Teacher Association and becoming part of the school community. This can help you meet other parents and understand the school system. Mr. Putejo knows how important it is to get involved. As a parent, I always attend all the meetings that I'm invited to and participate and then at least, you know, get to understand and know what is happening around the school and what is expected of me as a parent and what is expected of my child at school. Your child might need your help with homework. Ask your children's teacher about ways to help. If you feel you can't give your children as much help as you would like, ask if there are any homework clubs or study groups available to help your children. Further education. There are three main options for further education in Australia. These are going to a university, studying at a technical and further education institute called TAFE or completing an apprenticeship to learn a trade. It is important to keep your mind open about these different options and different career paths. Some people are more suited to becoming a doctor or lawyer. Others are more suited to trades such as becoming a builder or mechanic. Different options require different types of training. Think about the most suitable options for you and your family. Johnson, Aminata and Igut are all completing further education. If you are coming from Africa to Australia, you might you know, find the, you know, the way of education is completely different. To get into university is very hard because you know, there are a number of people that are competing. You might have to do foundation course, you might have to do English language, diploma, and if you really want to get into uni, then you will. But not all of us are meant to get into uni. I thought it would be a stepping stone for me to start with TIFF instead of just coming and straight off going to uni. At TIFF, uh, things are done more practical, whereby at university they have to do you know, things um, theoretically. Mechanics, plumbers, they make more money than the office people. What I've learned from TIFF helped me a lot. I went through the application forms and I saw one for nursing, which I tried to do in my country before. So I said, okay, the best they can do is to just apply and see what goes up. So I did that and I got accepted. Apprenticeship is you study and you get money at the same time and you do things practically. And then in the end, you get a certificate. When I went to TAFE, I thought I was too big to even go to TAFE again. But when I went to TAFE and the first day we started school, I met people that are even older than my mom in Africa, I tell you. Ask your settlement service provider to help you find out more about studying at university, TAFE, or about completing an apprenticeship. Did you know? Did you know that you may need to study to get the job that you want? There are no age limits on people going to TAFE or university and there are lots of courses available.